Well, it's Australia's most competitive holiday market and cruise companies are slashing prices in the fight to fill their ships. Nine News has crunched the numbers to find the best value deals, leaving Fremantle. This is the Majestic Princess, the brand new ship packing in three and a half thousand passengers. And while they're relaxing on deck, below things are frantic as staff get prepared. Floating gold mines like this one are the go-to getaway for one in 20 Australians. The cruising is becoming really popular and we're seeing lots of groups book on, you know, big family trips and things like that. The Majestic Princess won't be in Fremantle until November next year, but there are still plenty of cruising bargains to be had this summer, with hundreds of beds still to fill. You can set sail on the Astor on an 11-night Indonesian cruise, starting at $218 per person per night. If you fancy spending New Year's in Sydney, Azamara Club Cruises has deals starting at $320 per night for 15 nights. P&O's cheap deals include include 11 nights around Asia from $136 a night and for a real bargain a short sail down to Esperance at Christmas season will set you back just $248. Your local travel agent is always a great port of call because they basically can you know really compare some all the different cruise lines for you and really make sure they shop around and get you the best deal. Last year 140 passenger ships visited our coast pumping $387.4 million in to the state and supporting almost 1,500 jobs. Tourism WA says this season's shaping up to be a record one. The numbers expected to jump 16%, boosted by the 2,000 guest Sun Princess choosing to make its home at Fremantle. It will dock there for 141 days next season. Industry insiders warn, book for next season now and book a package to get the best deals. If you want to get the, the cabin that you want and the, and, the, and the best package, book as early as you can. Anne-Marie Leonard, Nine News.